Yo, what's up guys, it's Hybrid here, and welcome back to another video. Now, uh, today, you know, I haven't been doing any tutorials on my channel, so today I decided to do a tutorial. And uh, for today's lesson, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a softbox and control it using Cinema 4D's Expresso tab. And what that does is, if I just open up a sample here, let's open up. Four D Light Studios. Open up one of Grayscale Gorillas. He's got a lot of good examples. All right. So what the Expresso tab does, if I just click on it, click on an overhead softbox here. So I'll zoom out so you can see, is it allows you to control the softbox using various sliders. For example, if I change this. It will change the gradient on the softbox if I change the color, change the light color. And there are tons of different things that you can do. As you can see, he loads his espressos on. I'm going to show you guys basic espresso. And uh, you guys will be able to branch off that and make your own kind of more compu complicated mapping in espresso. So uh, let's just get started. So first we're going to make our softbox. Let me just make this HD canvas. Uh, fill a video right there. Okay. So we're going to make our softbox. We're going to go to this kind of squiggly S tool down to our rectangle. And we're going to turn that 90 degrees. Now what I like to do is just duplicate that. And then make sure you're in the shrink size um, what do we call it view and just bring that in a little bit and then duplicate that again command C command V and your what I like to do is make it 100 by 100 it's nice and small and then I go into my four panel view here and I use this view down here in the bottom right corner to just space each of these rectangles out so softbox or sort of look around there looks good yep okay so go back into our main view <coughs> sorry about that and then we're gonna go to our hyper nerves and go to loft nerves and we're just gonna highlight all these and drag them onto our loft nerves and there you go you have your basic softbox shape now what I like to do also is I click on rect on each rectangle so I click on it click on rounding and put that to zero and I do that for all of them and what that does is it kind of makes a sharp edge softbox so as you can see here it's very sharp edged and what I think is the top one here needs to be smaller so I'll go into my size view and just shrink that and you can as well once they're in the loft nerves you can adjust them you can still adjust each rectangle to be a certain height or width or whatever you want but that is our softbox and what we're going to be working with today. Move that up a little bit. Move this one here up a little bit. And yeah, make that a little bit smaller. Okay, so we're going to rename this softbox assembly. And we can close that. So we got our softbox. Now, what I like to do sometimes is click on softbox assembly and just change all of these to, f to uh, five just to give you a really clean kind of segment look to it. It's really up to you though, you know, you can keep it on, sometimes 10 works too. The more segments you have, the more rounder your softbox will look around the edges here. So yeah, now what we are gonna do is, you know, I'm just gonna undo all that. All right, so now what you can do is go into your create and new material open up that material. Now for my softbox textures, I like to just have a solid black color with a wide specular, so about 80 and two. Looks really nice, just a solid black kind of look to it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the plane. So we'll just move this softbox up, grab in the go to this cube and go to plane and the plane 
is already the size of the softbox by default. But if you decided to change the bottom rectangle of your softbox to whatever size you want, so you had 600, 600, then in order to size your plane, just click on your plane and just change the width and height to the same as your bottom softbox. And that will um, assure that it fits. And then just drag it up. Now this does not have to be perfect, but you know, I like to try and get it somewhat close. So drag it to about about there. You can also go into your four panel view and just kind of mess with it here. But that's about this. That's good for me. So now we got our plane on here. Okay, so now that we have our plane on here, we're going to make the plane material. So let's go to create new material. And we'll call this one luminance. Just like that. All right, so what I like to do is take off specular and for um, take off, you know, you can keep the color if you want. I usually keep it and put it to a low brightness and we're going to add luminance and under texture, we're going to go to gradient and just click on the gradient bar here and change the type to 2D dash circular and we're going to make this side white. This side here is going to be sort of a dark, dark gray. And then what we're going to do is add another one about there. It's just a little bit lighter. Just to push that gray to the edges a little bit. Maybe about there. And now what we're going to do is change the brightness to about 150. And change the color to just a little bit red. Now what that'll do is just give your text nice reflect, nice color reflect, reflection, and because uh, now what we're gonna do is change the mix mode to multiply. Now you'll see that your material will just go plain white. Don't worry about that; it still has the effect on it. And then you're just gonna add that to your plane, and you can see here it has the sort of like a red tint to it. I'm not sure if you can see it on my screen, but it has a red tint to it and it looks really nice. You can also change the, take off the color. You could take off the color and it'll bring out the white a little bit more. But yeah, so that is our basic softbox. Now what you'll see a lot of people do and which looks really nice is if you go into this light, you can add an area light. Now just turn, turn that 90 degrees. And what you're gonna do is go in your four panel view and just drag it out. drag it out so it's about the same size as the softbox let's go here just drag it out drag it out drag it out make it bigger okay that's the edge of the softbox there all right all right, so once you've dragged it out to the size of the softbox here, go back into your regular view and just drag that up to about there. Yep, just about there. So it's right in front of the softbox. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna group all of these into a null object. So we're gonna highlight them all, right click and go to group objects. So now we have one null object that controls the entire softbox. We'll just call this softbox. All right, so now for the espresso. So we'll just check our time. Nine minutes, that's it. All right, so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna put this into two parts. So next is going to be the espresso mapping. So I guess this one's just creating a softbox. But what I'm gonna show you guys quickly is if you go to softbox, Cinema 4D tags and Espresso. This is what the blank Espresso canvas looks like. And in order to map this canvas, you have to sort of drag different parts of the luminous material onto it, as well as areas of your softbox. So, you know, you can bring your softbox assembly on and you can map it so you have a slider down here to change the height and width of the softbox. You can also add another slider to change the height and width of the plane 
and same with the light as well as the lights you can change the light shadow you can change the intensity of the light and this will all be controlled by clicking on softbox and here you'll see a softbox control so what we're gonna do before this tutorial is over I'm gonna go to we're gonna click on softbox we're gonna go to user data manage user data and we're gonna click add group and then we're gonna drag that out so it's a separate group and we're gonna name that softbox controls just like that so now we got a separate group called softbox controls so if I click on softbox here you can see I have softbox controls and this is where everything's going to be for our espresso mapping and it's going to be able to control the entire softbox and it'll make your you know building light studios easier it'll be building anything easier and as well if you have a studio that already has espresso uh, you'll be able to know how to control it better since you'll know how to make it so um, yeah I guess that is all for today's tutorial um, you know like comment favorite this video whatever you want to do uh, and I will be releasing part two um, in lay like, in around two days so you don't guys don't have to wait too long for it uh, thank you for watching guys and so peace